Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ruth from your host on Click Digest, and we have with us the Micromax Unite 3, which is their latest iteration of the Unite. We have also shown you the Unite 2, and in this video, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and hands on and first impressions video of the Unite 3 and tell you what all it is good for. We are doing a separate comparison video with the Canvas Spark, which is right here. So do check out the other video and leaving direct links in the description section below and do check out our channel for the comparison as well. When it comes to this one, this phone is a compact phone. The model number is Q372 and comes with a 4.7 inch uh, display, which is not a high definition. It's WVGA or 480 by 800 pixel display resolution. Unite 2 was also fairly popular and some of the the most unique features of this phone is that it supports transliteration which means that you can type in English and convert it into Hindi or you can type in Hindi and convert it into English and it has 10 Indian language menus which is clearly indicated here by menu icons in different languages. The unit that we have got here is white in color and it looks a lot like the canvas spark. It is exactly the same screen size 4.7 inches and it comes with very similar specifications as well. It comes with an 8 megapixel rear facing camera, it comes with a 2 megapixel front facing camera. All the important specifications are mentioned on the box as well. It comes with 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB internal memory. The back is removable and gives you access to the SIM card slots. SIM 1 is a full size SIM slot and SIM 2 is a micro SIM slot and there is also a micro SD card slot provided for expanding the memory. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. Uh, going further, there are some documentation which includes uh, user guides, smart gesture menu, there are SAR information, warranty card and uh, user guide etc. which have been bundled and gesture information includes uh, the cold screen gestures that you can do on this phone which is a good thing probably not uh, available on the uh, Unite, uh, on the Canvas Park and here you have the in the ear type earphones which are good in quality and they look nice and they come with inbuilt uh, headset with button to accept to reject the calls this is the battery the battery capacity here is uh, 2120 milliamp hour which you can see here there is uh, a charger a standard charger nothing special here and a screen protector which has been bundled right within the box. As soon as I boot up, I am greeted with this screen which says first touch, welcome to the mobile world. It is uh, like a quick uh, interface which is slightly different and gives you a different sort of UI which is uh, in Hindi language here and uh, you can select from multiple languages. It gives you a quick demo of the interface and the interface here is very different as you can see it is a stylized and a simplistic interface which gives you a quick call uh, dialer access here uh, apart from that when you go on home screen you have the uh, messages access here so it's a very different sort of interface and when you swipe from this side you get all your applications and you also see your dock here when you swipe so it's like having a home screen and when you swipe from uh, the home screen you get the application drawer as well as four docks so it's a specialized interface that Unite 3 is providing you it also gives you this app bazaar uh, interface which is again very interesting very different it comes with lollipop out of the box so the swipe down will give you a familiar lollipop interface and here you can see that uh, uh, it's very similar to what we have seen on spark but it gets some differentiations when it comes to features now let me quickly give you a camera interface test to show you how good is the camera quality so i'll pull in some objects from here and uh, let's take some pictures and find out how good they come out. There is an autofocus 8 megapixel rear camera and a fixed focus front facing 2 megapixel camera. So let me shoot with both and find out the quality on both these. Uh, it is with heavy beauty mode and it has removed all sort of blemishes and irregularities from my face and it's taking good pictures uh, when it comes to taking pictures with front facing camera. The rear facing camera is also capturing good amount of details. You can see I'm zooming in very heavily, but still the details are uh, not losing. So it is very impressive when it comes to camera quality. So it's uh, not a disappointment at all. Let me also show you what it is capable of recording when it comes to video. So we quickly jump to video settings and here we have video quality high fine. And if I shoot a video clip here, 
just for testing the resolution and we go into gallery and check the resolution here in details and you can see that in high fine quality it is shooting in full high definition so you can shoot full HD videos with this phone which is a good thing the display quality is looking nice besides not being a, a high definition or quarter HD or HD display it is still able to pull off very good display quality here the sound also is coming fine and uh, is loaded with some basic applications and a lot of blotware I must say but uh, if you are someone who is looking for these applications you will not mind it it comes with mad uh, unite lens which is application to convert uh, languages or transliteration there is hotscar uh, marble app doctor safety so quite a lot of applications uh, snapdeal quicker paytm news hunt giga jump so it's loaded with apps when it comes to uh, the applications in terms of look feel build quality it feels nice uh, it's a good phone if you are considering a phone in six to seven thousand rupees and if you especially want uh, features like multiple language support you can only find in these specialized phones which give you so much flexibility and transliteration is the feature which is unique to this phone so we'll do a separate video on the same and we'll do detailed reviews separately this was just a quick hands-on and first impression and we like what we see here it is part by a 1.3 gigahertz quad core cpu has 1 gb of ram 8 gb internal memory fairly loaded phone with a 4.7 inch display and a decent and sorted build quality it is a thumbs up from us and if you want to buy one i'm leaving a direct link in the description section below where you can pick up one for yourself if you want to receive more videos from intellect digest please press the red subscribe button and get the latest video updates and detailed reviews from intellect digest this is all we have on this one we are doing a separate video review where we are doing a quick comparison with the canvas spark so do check out the other video as well this is all we have on this one. I hope to see you in my next video. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.